Cynthia. Oh, hello. I think you got disconnected. Ah, sorry. That's you know, uh, We have some high-tech equipment here. Uh, are you looking on your computer? Do you see your picture now? Um, let me look at it. Oh, Very it doesn't matter. <laughs> you know what you look like. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, you know, I don't know. I mean, do you speak Portuguese or, or Spanish or both? I speak both, but my first language is Portuguese. Yeah. Okay. Ah, because there's a woman here with me in the studio who is from uh, the uh, Greater Washington Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. Oh, wow, that's awesome. <laughs> Hi, Cynthia. <laughs> you hear the accent? Hola. Como yes. estas? <laughs> yes. Well, so Angela bien, Franco has been just telling about how her group will take someone like you, even if you don't join, and help you with your business. Isn't that incredible? That's awesome. That's yeah. very much incredible. <laughs> because what she realizes, and I do too, is that you know more people, immigration people, are starting businesses than domestic people. It seems. You know, I mean, right now something like you know thirty percent of all the new bi high tech businesses even are started by immigrants. Yeah. You know? So you guys are right. you guys are going to carry uh, America you know, across the finish line, I think. <laughs> I think that you know definitely the immigrants are important parts um, of you know the, the the country these days. So it's wonderful to see that more and more are starting business, businesses here and contributing in a positive way to be successful of the country as a whole. Yes. Well, Cynthia, mm -hmm. tell us about your food now. How did you start this blog, or why did you start it? You know, I mean, this is, now you're making a whole career out of just yeah. the Internet. Right, right. I started my blog two years ago, and it started being, you know, so successful that I ended up starting to think about a book. Actually, pretty quickly, I started thinking uh -huh. of writing a cookbook. Mm -hmm. uh, after I started my blog. Um, and one thing led to another. I started getting a pretty good, solid um, audience on my blog. Mm -hmm. And finally now, my book is almost ready after a wonderful experience on Kickstarter. Oh, yes. Um, Let me tell the mm -hmm. folks about Kickstarter. I'm going to run the video, okay? So this is now okay. where, where you got eleven thousand dollars on Kickstarter. Now, Angela, you, were you familiar uh -huh. with Kickstarter? No, no, okay. and I want to hear everything about Kickstarter it. Kickstarter is a place. Well, tell her what you did on Kickstarter. Uh, Kickstarter is a crowdfunding um, website that, instead of you know people who are starting business, businesses or who have created projects, instead of going to a bank. They go to Kickstarter, and people from all over the world that like your project, they can invest on mm. the project or buy the product in advance, even before it's ready. And that's a way to raise money to get you to make your project happen. In my case, these eleven thousand dollars that I got on Kickstarter are going to go towards printing the book, and wow. you pay them back so, after. No. I like as a book. It's a great tool. It's and a now it's uh, okay. And also successful and I am thrilled about it. Yeah. Let me That's show the exciting. video of that, Eric. Yeah. This is the video. So on, on she develops a little website on Kickstarter, mm -hmm. throws on a video, people watch the video and say, Hey, I wanna help her. <laughs> right. Hello Kickstarters, my name is Cynthia Presser. I was born and raised in Brazil. And I moved to the United States when I was 24 years old and I am a passionate cook who would love to share my recipes and my passion for my culture in my book, Cooking with a Brazilian Twist. Hello, <laughs> All right, so my book is called um, Cooking with a Brazilian Twist and it's 50 Brazilian recipes, traditional, some of my favorite recipes exotic ingredients, but very achievable. Remember, I am a home cook and everything I make, it, there's nothing complicated about it. I'm gonna show you how to use these, these exotic ingredients and how much flavor they're gonna bring to your table. And then the other half of the book, it's an, about almost 50 other recipes from around the world. I have Paraguay, Argentina, 
Uruguay, um, I have France, Italy, I have some countries in Asia, I have Middle East, I have United States, of course, and I have some fusion cuisine. Uh, most of them uh, with fusion with Brazilian, which is very interesting. It's very good. For me, being able to share my recipes with the American people is a way to give back to the American people all the wonderful things, the, the wonderful way I have been treated since I moved here. Um, I definitely made this place home and I have an American family now. And it's a way for me to give it back to them by showing the best cultural things that Brazil has to offer. And it's not only about soccer and samba, food is also there, up there on the top. It's delicious and it's successful. Now, being able to share my food with the American people also means a lot to the people I left behind. Like, it's a way for me to show my friends and my family that I didn't forget about them, that I'm still the same person. I am still, okay, here we go. I am still uh, the same person. I haven't changed. I still appreciate my culture and I am proud of who I come from. <laughs> and I want to show everybody that this is something that is beautiful and delicious and it's from my country, it's from Brazil. And it's something to be proud of. <laughs> so Kickstarters, I am here to ask you for your support. This is my passion, this is my dream. I have been putting so much effort, so much work, so much love into this project. And I cannot wait to have you holding a copy of this book. Um, you can feel the love in the book. It's a cultural experience. I hope you appreciate it. I mean, I'm sure you will appreciate it. And any help is gonna be so, so, so welcome. So anything you can give, even if it's just sharing on Facebook or Twitter. I do appreciate everything and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Obrigada. <laughs> it was that kiss that got it. You see the kiss at the end? Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Is that what you said in Spanish? <laughs> no. Cynthia, are you El there? El beso, un beso, un beso. I am here. Ah, see, so you're getting compliments in Spanish, I think. No, that was an amazing oh, video. Thanks, I couldn't hear it. <laughs> Gracias. Yeah. Well, also, Cynthia, they're her photographs. You see the beautiful photographs mm -hmm. of the food? That's all her, too. I mean, she's this incredible amazing. food photographer. See, that's why someone from another country could come here and go on the web and raise $11,000 mm -hmm. and have a book that shares her, her yeah. heritage and culture and your heart. Right, Cynthia? Absolutely. I put all my love and a lot of work on this book, and it's a way to give back to the American community as well. Uh, because I've been treating it just so amazingly since I got here, and for me, it's a gift to America. Sharing my culture is a gift to America. And now America gave you a gift too, because now you got a new business, right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, that's wonderful, Cynthia. Thank you for sharing with us. And mm -hmm. uh, I, I think, you know, you're just on your way to do more and more cookbooks. You have a wonderful blog. And, and how long, when will the book be, uh, be, be sent out to people who purchased it already? Uh, in July 2013. Oh, wow. So just, you, you yeah, we've been... Exactly. Just within a couple of months, less than two months, the right. book is going to be available. <laughs> People can sign up on my website to be notified when the book is actually available. Okay, but we can so still go to your website and purchase it if we want? Uh, not yet, because the book is not available. It was available for purchase. Uh, through Kickstarter, Kickstarter, okay. Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. but now that's over, but it's going to be available in my website for purchase starting in July. Okay, oh, and wow. so until then, you probably sign up and you get the recipes from you, right? Right, okay. right. <laughs> <laughs> well, that will keep me going, you know, tummy-wise until then. Thank you, Cynthia. Thank, Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, my pleasure.
Okay, take care. Thank you. Have a wonderful uh, day. You bet. See, isn't that terrific? I mean, I was in tears with that video. But <laughs> isn't that now? I got to call another guy. Okay. Uh, now but this. Do you want me to comment? Yeah, okay. I mean, yeah, just, just yeah, okay. whatever. I mean, the, the, but once I run the video and everything, okay, we're going to call Mark, and uh, I don't know if Chris is there or not. I'll just call. It sounds easier, doesn't it, Eric? <laughs> no, she was amazing. Yeah, and let's see if this works. Uh, looks like too many numbers. Nah, I better do it again. Yeah, see, what what is great to me about Kickstarter it's better than, well, first of all, you don't have to pay the money back, so it's mm -hmm. better than a loan. Mm -hmm. uh, the bo but most importantly, to me, this is going to shove America down the street a lot faster because in traditional ways of selling or starting the business, you have to raise money, then go out and start a business, yeah. right? Then see if there's customers. This short circuits the process. Yeah. You're going right to customers seeing if they'll buy the stuff. Yeah. So all you have to do is invest in the video for a couple hundred bucks. You're there to seeing if there's a market for you. If there is, they give you money. Mm -hmm. You go do the product a couple months later. And Man, yeah. nothing but, to lose. And look at her. She yes. had clarity on her business. Yes. She knew exactly what he wanted and yes. what it meant for her. Right. And, and what was special is, about her. Yes. Is this, how do I know this is on? Eric, should I undo the thing? Yeah. Yeah.